So we've added some really cool new tools to the sediment rating curve calculator. We can compute the average annual load for you based on whatever rating curve you choose. And we have some new sophisticated low S localized statistics. And I'm gonna show you how to use those. But first, just a reminder, the sediment rating curve tool is under the HD editor. You don't actually need to have a RAS project open. You can use this just as a standalone tool. And once you open the hydraulic design menu, you can go to the rating curve calculator and it opens this tool. And so again, there's a whole video on this. We'll link to it up here, but we're gonna go and we're just gonna open some USGS data. You can also import CSV data. And in this case, I'm going to search the USGS data for the Blue River in Kansas. You can do this with any search data. If you have the gauge number, you can just type that right in, but we're gonna do that. And the search finds 22 gauges that have those search terms. I'm gonna sort by number of concentration observations, and we'll find that the Randolph gauge actually has the most with about 2,600. And so we'll select and open that. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna choose this option that goes and gets flows whenever there aren't any concentration data, even if I have plenty of flows with my concentration data because we'll need that for the new tools. And so we'll say import and we get these data. And so you can see that these data seem to have kind of an inflection point to them that the single log linear model doesn't fit them very well. And so we're gonna compute a piecewise linear model and that does a better job of fitting them. And so that's all stuff that you could already do in previous versions, but the one of the cool things we've added is this new time series tab. And so if you go to the third tab, the time series tab, what that does is it actually brings in the flow data from that gauge and it applies whatever rating curve decisions you've made over in this part of the, of the editor to that flow series. And so it matches the flow series with a sediment time series, and then it goes in and it plots the actual sediment concentration or load observations with the set of graphs. So you can actually see how that plots in time and you know, where they're distributed. And so that's cool. You have a sediment time series, you could use that as a boundary condition, but really what you want from a, set of, a continuous sediment time series is you probably want to come up with some sort of flux for your boundary condition. And so the other thing that we do now is under results, we will annualize that set of graph that's based on your rating curve and give you an average annual load based on those flows and sediment data, which is a number you often want when you're building a sediment budget. And so that's the first thing that you can do new in this rating curve editor. But the second thing you can do, so we've set a piecewise linear curve to these data, and that's great that really improves the model, but there are other more sophisticated localized regressions that you can use to kind of evaluate that fit. And so we've added a low S tool down here. Basically what a low S model is, is a localized regression that will capture kind of finer trends in the data. The low S model needs a span, and that's just kind of a window over which you're going to do the local regression. And the smaller the span, the kind of the more detailed the regression is going to be, the larger the span, the smoother it's going to be. And so we have the ability to predict a span in here, and uh, that, that can be computational intensive. That can take 30 seconds or so. I'm just going to actually go in and type a span of about 0.4, and it's a number between 0 and 1, and we're going to say calculate low S. And what you see here is that we have this low S curve that is a localized regression that can actually capture some of these finer trends in the data so that you can evaluate your piecewise linear or whatever model you're gonna use and get a sense of how a local progression would perform. Now, why don't you just use the low S? Well, low S can't extrapolate. So you still need to use another model to extrapolate, but this will give you a sense of, of what the local trends of your data are. So those are the two cool new features that we have in the rating curve calculator that are coming out with version 6.4. I'm Stanford Gibson, the sediment transport specialist at HEC. A lot of this coding was done by Zach Morris, and these features were funded by the Mississippi River Geomorphology and Potomology Program.